and our, our institutions are trying to be as nimble as possible. You know, CCV is trying to help people do um, more high-tech, skill-based jobs like machining. So what, what we know is that we have businesses, we know that businesses uh, look for a local talent pool to make their decision on where they're going to locate. That's more important to them than the tax structure or right. other issues. Mm -hmm. is, 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 will I have the workforce? Do they have the housing? Do they have what they need for me to locate there and have my, my business run on time and with the right workforce? And at the same time, we have a lot of young people saying, I don't know where the jobs are. Mm. This feels like a mismatch mm. for me. Mm. So government has a lot of value it can ha add in that conversation, and I don't think we've quite made that value proposition yet, but it will take, as Representative Dakin said, folks knowing what's out there, how they can plug in, and how they can make those programs work better for them. Do we need a program that helps with a certain kind of software development and for folks to get that training? Um, or do we need to look at the fact that our trades are aging? And um, in carpentry, in a lot of our, our trade and manufacturing um, sectors, the average age is over 55 now. Mm -hmm. And those are jobs we will always need. They're not always the new economy or the flashy <laughs> thing. Right. We need people to pave our roads, mm -hmm. to, to build our buildings, um, to be the, the backbone of the economy that they've been. And so, you know, we have to be working on what value we add, what skills we help develop, and what we are helping the business community find in terms of a talented workforce. Mm -hmm.